Hello, Richard from BudgetKeyboardist.com, and today I'm going to give you 10 ways that Apple could improve Logic Pro for the Mac. Logic Pro is my favorite DAW. At $199, it gives you more tools than any other DAW on the market in that price range. Logic Pro fans like to say that Logic is all you need, and if your needs are modest, you know, that might be true. Before I get slagged in the comments section, please go watch the video I did last week, which is like 10 reasons why I love Logic Pro or something, whatever I called it. I'm well aware of how good it is. It is my primary DAW, but I think that most Logic Pro users would uh, easily come up with their own list of 10 things that they'd like to see improved. So here's my list. One. Drummer is one of Logic's best features, but many people would like to see a few more genres, and that does seem reasonable, considering there's only like six drummers in Logic, or something like that. Jazz and country, I think, would be good inclusions, especially jazz. Two, Drummer could also use a few more drum kits. I mean, we're all getting sick of Kyle and his SoCal kit, right? And it sure would be nice to get like some good hard rock and metal kits added because there aren't any in there right now. Three, retro synth. Okay, sampler's been improved, yes. And alchemy remains one of my favorite synths, but let's talk about retro synth. The analog and sync sections are useful, but let's be honest, they're not as good as most modern analog synth plugins. I mean, I bought Cherry Audio Mercury 6 for $39 on sale, and it makes RetroSynth look like a toy. A T O Y toy. We could really use a good analog synth. RetroSynth is more like my first analog synth. And let's talk about the FM section of RetroSynth, which most closely resembles a two operator FM synth. Now, the free plugin Dext is a six operator FM synth. It's not good when a free plugin is far superior to what you're offering. Four, can we talk about the E-Series Ancient Dinosaur plugin still included with Logic? If the FM section of RetroSynth is barely usable, the EFM one is a toy. It's like a toy Yamaha 80s keyboard and the ESE is from the same toy. The ESP is no better so one way to improve Logic would be to hide these old plugins in like a legacy section. I don't think they should be removed because I like the idea of old Logic projects still being able to access the toy department, right? For convenience sake and to relive their childhoods. Five, in Ableton Live, you can set it up to quantize your live playing. No, it can't move your notes ahead of when you actually play them, but if you're rushing a teeny bit, it'll fix that. Logic can't do this. I don't mean quantize on record. I mean, as you're playing notes, they're quantized. If I'm wrong, and there's some clever hack. Please tell me how to do it in the comments section. I don't believe it's possible. Six, I have an HX Stomp. It's right back here. I also have Helix Native. If you use a Helix product, the amps in Logic are never going to make you happy. They're nowhere near as good. They're not even as good as the original Line 6 pod. A company worth $3 trillion ought to be able to give us something better. Also, I think the pedals are on the same level of not good enough. 7. Lack of a search tool for plugins. When you want a plugin, you have to rummage. It's like looking through drawers or something. I'd like to just be able to type Soothe and have the Soothe plugin show up. This is pretty common request, actually. Other DAWs have had this feature for a while. It's not a huge deal to me, but it would be an easy way to improve logic. Eight, de-esser and exciter. I would like to see new, updated, good plugin replacements for de-esser and exciter, because they're both not very good. I know a lot of people who avoid these two stock plugins for good reason. Nine. Let me purchase new drummers and make them famous players. If you decide to sell a Gavin Harrison model for drummer, I will personally drive my handwritten check to Cupertino to pay you. Or Phil Collins drummer. You can make a fortune. Neil Parrott, shut up and take my money. They're sitting on a gold mine, but... 
10. And finally, drummer is wonderful. Can we get bassist next? This product already exists elsewhere. So yeah, that'd be great. I know. I'm asking for the moon, the sun, the stars. Apple really doesn't have to do any of this. And quite frankly, as long as they don't move the Mac version to subscription-based, I'll be happy to keep running Logic. But, I mean, if they're looking for ways to improve Logic, these were just my suggestions. I'm sure I'm missing a bunch of things, so please tell me what I missed in the comments section. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.